Hey folks, welcome back to Mario Speedruns. This is show number five. I'm filming this today on October 18th, 2015. When we last left our character Morel, he was at 400 feet. His stats were suffering. He was level 13. And yeah, so we said we were going to go down a little bit deeper and then go back up to the town. Well, that's what we did. Went up to the town, we fixed up our uh, stats that were hurt, our constitution, and we couldn't fix our wisdom. Just couldn't do it. So that's where we're at. Um, I found a scroll of Word of Recall, and I bought another one, and I zipped back down to the bottom. So I'm back at 400 feet now, level 14, and uh, yeah, I'm sitting with the ring in my pack, and we're going to identify it together. That's what we're going to do. And later on in this uh, in this run... Uh, we're going to find a special item. So what are we going to find? Stay tuned and find out, folks. All right, let's play the game. Before we get started, let's check out... The Wheel of Source Code! I don't think I'm going to get bored of saying it like that. All right, let's spin it. Hmm. I see something about Turn Undead, maybe? Does that say that? Something about Dungeon, which is a very long function. Um, something about Turn... Oh, that's Turn Undead. Can you read the rest? I can't. Something about Print. <laughs> All right, let's stop the wheel in three, two, one, and stop it. PRT study. This is an easy one, folks. 16 lines long. I know what this one does. You probably know what this one does. This one's easy. PRT study. Oh, easy peasy. All right. So if we can learn new spells, then the study flag is set on our status. Hmm. been confused. So in this case, where is this called from? Yeah. Been confused. Let me go this way. So why is it modifying the status? <laughs> It looks like it's modifying the status. How does that work, folks? Taking the twos complement of status of uh, our status flag and ending it on our status. Wow. So I guess it's just getting rid of it if it happens to be set. Because new spells is either going to be on or off. Oh, okay, I know what it's doing. I don't, no, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> I think if that study flag is on, that turns it off. Wow, i brushing up on my bitwise operations here. Otherwise, there's this, uh, this new spells variable that hangs around on your flags. And it's either something or nothing. If it's nothing, then we just put spaces down there in the bottom thing down here. And if it's something, then we say study. We go study. Uh, at uh, row 23, uh, column 59. That's what's going on there. So it's a bit mysterious. Uh, and there's where it gets called whenever we do print our stat block. Last thing we do is we display the study field. Huh. It's awfully interesting how it uh, sets that though. I think we're looking at the guts of uh, Moria right there. All right, we'll leave it there. That is the PRT study function of misc3.c in the gmoria sources. And that concludes the Wheel of Source Code. Hey folks, <clears throat> welcome back, okay. Uh, I've added light sources here. You can see I have a shadow now, see that? Ah. <laughs> 
Hopefully I'm a little bit brighter. I'm trying to do this earlier in the morning. So, uh, I've been having a problem with this laptop. Let me show you what's going on here. Oh, the timer has started, but we'll take a little time here to show you. Uh, I'm going to disappear here for a sec. Ah, going for a ride here, folks. See that weirdness there? I don't know if you can see. That is a coat hanger rigged up. And it's holding up this edge. Oh, it's very dark, I know. Let me get it from this side. So this edge has completely broken and this holds it into place. You can't really see, but there are wires. See those wires on the right? Those are completely cut. <laughs> They're not there. They're not connected to anything. It's very blurry, I know, but that's what's going on. Ah, uh, let's see here. There, I'm back. So, this laptop has been flaking out on me. The screen is going nuts. The whole thing freezes up and nothing happens. After that, I have to reboot. Uh, if that happens during this, then there's not much of a, uh, of a show to do. <laughs> All right. We're back on 400 feet. I've been waiting to identify this emerald ring with you guys. So let's, um, let's, let's do that now. We have a scroll of identify. So let's read that. Oops. Identify. What? P. Aggravate monster. Well, that sucks. What's that? A wand of confused monster? Ah, it's money. Pick it up. Onyx ring. Well, let's sit in one place and identify it. We're all... Ooh, ooh, what's going on here? Okay. I thought something was attacking us there. Excuse me. Ring of weakness. That would have been useful if it was a ring of strength. I guess that's how it works in the code, eh? It rolls some dice and it figures out if it's going to be a good item or a bad item. And we rolled a bad item on that ring of weakness, but it could have been a ring of strength. I think that's how it works. Holy moly. Um, yeah, so I went up to the town and got all my stats taken care of that I could. Is that still checked there? is. Hey, camera four. So, um, yeah, the, the wisdom is still a little bit down, but I don't think we need it too much. So here we are, 400 feet. We have all the stuff we need to survive. And uh, and even go a little bit deeper. Ooh, special room, folks. As soon as you see one of those, you gotta check for uh, traps. All right, what do you think it is? Let's just open the door from back here with the uh, stone to mud spell. Oh boy. Copperhead snake. Guarding a scroll of identify. You can use that, right? You know what? Despite my light sources, I think I'm still a little bit dim. What do you think? Let me know. Maybe I just have to wait a little bit longer into the day to start filming. So yeah, we're level 14 now. And we can learn some spells. But none of them are level 14 spells. So we just kind of leave it like that. Do you want to pick up an all pike? Sure. Let's identify it with our scroll of identify. 
Q. Ah, we don't need that. So that's a bit of a dead end there. Back to the special room. I love finding those special rooms. I wish there were more of them though. Uh, more different types of special rooms. I guess the other roguelikes, like Angband and whatever, they have more different, more types of special rooms to see. It would be nice if you could get all the way down to the bottom of the dungeon and still be seeing special rooms you've never seen before. Or have special rooms that are only for certain areas. Just an idea. So, let's see. Yeah, we've been doing well in the gold department. I sold a bunch of wands, which really helped. So we'll probably have a new highest gold when we go to look at the charts at the end. Where do we go from here, folks? Huh. Let's go this way. Nothing there. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm going to cheat and just teleport myself around the level. Ta-da! Rather than running all around. Constitution. Yeah, sure. Let's take a look. So right there is where we dipped down. Well, we dipped down originally way back here. I ran into a purple uh, worm of some kind, and I uh, actually um, went down again. So I know that it affects my hit points, so I had to do something about it. Now we're back up. Purple worm? No, I ran into a purple mushroom patch. That's what I ran into. All it takes is one bad step, folks. So, yeah, our hit points are probably down a little bit as a result of that, because we leveled up while we were injured in that way. So that means our hit points will be permanently uh, injured, permanently reduced. But that's just the game. That's the way the game plays. All right. Uh, have we? We haven't seen any downstairs, ha have we? No. Just upstairs. Gotta love getting that more money. Um, yeah, so another good thing here you might have noticed is that we have a scroll of a word of recall. So that means we can just plunge into the dungeon and cast it when, when we are ready to come out. Which is very convenient. Thank goodness they added that. That's a good question, though. When was it added? In what year did the scroll of Word of Recall show up? I don't know. People probably got pretty bored of uh, going up and down, up and down throughout the dungeon, right? It affects uh, gameplay a fair amount. You can go poor uh, 
buying all these Word of Recall scrolls, that's for sure. All right, let's go this way and find some stairs. Yep. Anything we need to drop? No, we're good. So, here we are at 450 feet. We've been rewarded with a thrusting sword base lard and an amulet of bone. Well, let's sit right here and uh, identify it because it could be a cool one. And we are not wearing one. Identify Q. Oh my lord, it's an amulet of the Magi. Wow! I think this gives us the uh, the thing we've been needing, the thing that every Moria adventurer needs, that is see invisible. Wow! Plus three, plus five. Um, I think, uh, I forget what these means, the, the, these things mean. The, the In the hard brackets there, square brackets, that's um, AC. And the plus five is, I think, searching. Let's put that on and see what happens. So what are we watching? We're watching for our AC to pop up. There it is. I think, I think, I hope that that gives us see invisible. I really hope it does. We'll find out before long. Oh my god, this is good. This is a good run all of a sudden. All it takes is one good item. Backsword. Wow. That's awesome. And that is the joy of Moria right there, folks. Find, like, finding the thing that you need. It is an item grind. But, uh, wow. It's like winning the lottery. Except, you know, not like winning the lottery at all. <laughs> so, let's see. I want to find something that's invisible. That's what I want to do. I think, I think, the Amulet of the Magi also might sustain a stat. Experience level chart. Nah, we'll pass on that one. Purple mushroom patch. Oh, those things are horrible. Shake fist that purple mushroom patch. Cure confusion. That's useful. All right, what's that? Greedy little gnome carrying a saber. All right, we're in our last five minutes of play here. Still level 14. I don't think we'll be reaching level 15 in this run. Huh, we got another ring here. Violet mold, ugh. I hate it when they do that. They suck that mana out of us. Now it's awfully hard to get away and get back at him. Now that he's awake. See? Excuse me, see? Oh, what a pain. Zircon ring. We kind of want that ring. So how do we get there? How do we get there without having them heal up on us? Suggestions? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. 
That's a smart Moria player right there, folks. Right here. <laughs> Who has two thumbs and is a smart Moria player? This guy. This guy right here, in case that wasn't on me, that camera. Here is our Zircon ring. Is it any good? Probably not, but it could be awesome. It is actually awesome. That is a benefit to us right there. Ring of Teleportation. That is a cool get out of jail free card. We'll take it. Almost every one of my winning characters, well, I've only had two winning characters. Excuse me. Almost all of the characters that I've had that have done any good have had that. <clears throat> we can just put that on, and voila. In a few term turns, we'll get yanked out of whatever trouble we're in. In our final minute of play at 500 feet, walking around a room that we haven't actually cast the fine traps on, and there is another ring with a dark blue mushroom. Okay, so it looks like we're going to leave it there, folks. Slimy mushroom, we just ran into a trap. Ugh, we hit our constitution. What a pain. How about that? Only a hundred more to go until the next level. All right. Let's just clean this out. Oh, I just can't get enough Moria playing today. We don't know if what that uh, magic, that amulet really does. Okay, we're going to leave it there. That's a pretty good run, I think. Um, yeah, that is a pretty good run. So, uh, what to say? Um, I think we did very well. That's a pretty good pack. We can go up and sell a lot. One last thing before we go to the charts. I was in the stores and I saw, uh, uh, at the weapon shop, a sleigh dragon weapon of some kind. I don't know what. But it costs 8,000 gold pieces. So it's a good idea to save the expensive things in your pack, even if you're not going to use them. Because when you go up to the town, you can sell all these expensive things and maybe afford a super duper item. So, something to keep in mind. All right, with that, let's take a look at the charts. Okay, it is chart time, folks. Let's have a look. Here's morale. Morale, eh? What can we see on these charts? See our dungeon death going up and down, up and down. Experience points going up and up. It leveled off when I uh, went back up to the town. And now that I'm back at 400 feet, it goes steep again. And you can see we're at 500 feet. Experience level will be going up again pretty soon. The big pause there is because we did a lot of sleeping. Hit points. Uh, hit points went down because our constitution went down. And that's what's going on with this big dip right here. We've since fixed it, so it's back up. Armor class. Pretty good. I found that uh, amulet of the Magi, right? So that popped us up. And I also bought new um, shoes which uh, account for that little pop-up there. Gold pieces, yeah, gold pieces are doing their thing. We sold off a bunch of good stuff here and we bought some uh, stuff. And we're just gonna go up, up and up there. All right. So over here, you can see our constitution went down again, which frankly is better than our strength. When our strength goes down, it's a threat to our life. When our constitution goes down, it's an inconvenience for the whole game. 
What do I mean by that? Well, it affects your hit points, and your hit points go up randomly. So if you have a low constitution when you level up, hit points don't go up as much, etc., etc. So, um, level, AC, it popped up, gold doing well. Ah, it looks pretty good. Only 58 until the next level. That's pretty good. So, there's our Amulet of the Magi. That's important, folks. And in our inventory, a gray speckled potion, which is mysterious. And uh, three mushrooms. I find the mushrooms are normally bad. There's more bad mushrooms than good mushrooms. But, you know, and I don't really want to spend the time to sit around and identify them. It just takes time. So, we'll leave them unidentified for now. <clears throat> Morel is at 10.5 days, so we're almost in the dungeon as long as our other favorite, Magoo. So this will be a good comparison with Magoo here. Magoo got to 900 depth, we're only at 500. Magoo got to 7,000 experience points, and we're only at 2,000. That's because of all that crappy sleeping we did, folks. Ugh. That sucks. He's way ahead of us. Level 14 versus level 20. We're closing in on kills, though. That's pretty good. Magoo is just much more uh, ambitious. 51 versus 89. Armor class. Not so hot. Are we going to beat him in anything? Money bags. Don't even beat him in money. The all-important score. Now, if I'm right, this Amulet of the Magi is going to pump us up on score. And does it ever. Look at our score. We are almost at Magoo's level. That's because of that Amulet. I'm sure of it. So, where do we go from here? I don't know. Um... We still have a lot of um, oil and food, so we, and we have that word of recall scroll for now um, because it could get destroyed in our pack. Uh, let's just stay down. We're at 500 feet. We'll stay down as long as we can. And then we'll call that word of recall scroll and go back up. Um, other than that, I don't know. I want to find uh, an invisible creature see if I can see him because I really want to know if we have see invisible now. If we have see invisible the game just got much easier for us. Wow my dimmer what? Ugh. I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do about the lighting situation folks. If you have any suggestions let me know. Okay with that I hope you're enjoying your game and I'll see you next time okay bye bye.